Okay, welcome back guys. This is CIT225, your course for network security and penetration testing. And we are covering the book called uh, Guide to Computer Forensics and Investigations. As usual, a disclaimer, whatever we are studying in this course is uh, entirely for academic purposes. If you will use any techniques or tricks taught in this course for anything other than academic purposes, you are solely responsible for your own actions. We covered up to the point where uh, we were learning about gathering the evidence and now we are talking about the uh, technique which is called bitstream copies. Uh, we can call it bare metal recovery as well as far as the imaging softwares are concerned out there. Uh, but still bitstream copy has its own importance when it comes to forensics and investigations. Um, as the name uh, indicates, a bit-by-bit -bit copy of the original storage medium can be maintained by bitstream copy. It means that all hashes, each and everything must be copied bit-by-bit -bit to the hard drive or the external disk which, uh, on which we want to create the backup. Now, exact copy of the original disk and different from the simple backup copy backup software only backs up known files whereas this one which copied the entire sectors and the hash codes of it backup software cannot copy deleted files but um, this one when you are maintaining the backup uh, using a bit stream copy the ultimate solution would be to get a hard drive which is of the same model by the same uh, vendor um, and the model etc should match with the original copy in order to have 100% same replica of the initial evidence disk because as we studied we don't want to contaminate the original in evidence and we don't want to write anything on the original disk just to make sure that um, things are there and uh, we are able to uh, retrieve or we are able to gather the proper evidence out of that copy that we have created. Now bitstream image copy file contains a bitstream copy of all the data disk as well as the partitions which are existing now as well as which existed earlier. So once we are recovering the disk it even shows us the previous partitions and the data which was stored on them. A copy image file to a target disk that matches the original disk manufacturer size and model etc. In the next slide we are looking at um, uh, different disks for example they are showing an example of uh, um, a floppy disk which is not used now but just for the sake of example it's creating a bit by bit um, image of the original disk. Now acquiring an image of an evidence media, the first rule should be to preserve the original evidence. Second is conduct your analysis only on a copy of the data. Now when we are trying to recover the hard drive, it's not necessary that the other person might have copied something on it and deleted it. That could be only one thing. But in most of the cases, we want to see that since when it was happening and since when someone was trying to access this machine. In order to make sure, we use the backups as well um, in order to fire them up and uh, to make them available as long as we'll find that the system has been compromised. Now, in a real-time business functional um, environment, we... Um, for example, if we detect a system that, is been, that has been compromised, we cannot shut down the services completely like financial systems or medical or any government agency saying that we have been targeted so the systems are not available. We'll have to check the last working good backup which is working perfectly fine for that they are sure that the data has not been compromised. We'll put that backup and we'll run the services. 
that's why you see that in most of the systems nowadays the application server is separate than the database server so that if something happens to the application server which is mostly windows servers or linux servers we must make sure that the data is stored somewhere else and um, it's been backed up on regular basis retrieving the data or um, uh, recovering the data is fast uh, much faster than recovering the uh, the entire operating system so that's why uh, you must have uh, um, um, you, uh, you must have conducted the analysis on the original disk and then match it with the uh, copy that you have created and then investigate on the copy of the original data. Several vendors provide MS-DOS, Linux and Windows acquisition tools. Windows tools require a write blocking device when acquiring the data from FAT or NTFS systems. Even if you are using some boot CDs with the help of which you are loading the operating system, it's always recommended to um, use the tools with the help of which it is not writing to the disk. Now the easiest solution possible which is out there is that you might have tried certain scripts which are available on the websites where you can lock writing to your USB, uh, USB stick. If you're connecting a USB um, to the computer, it would detect it. You'll be able to read the data from the uh, USB but you won't be able to write anything on the USB. Some of the USBs which are available out there uh, they do come up with a lock or a security switch with the help of which it, uh, it stops you from accidental delete from the USB drives. Same thing goes for these kind of hard disks. If for example you are connecting this hard disk as an, uh, with the external exclosure to your USB 3 uh, on the computer, you can define the entire disk as read only so that it's not able to write anything from the affected disk to your disk. Now, whenever you are testing a disk which has been compromised or a system which has been compromised it's never recommended to connect it to a machine which is on the network it should be completely isolated so that if something tries to fire from the contaminated disk to the host computer it should not be able to come uh, to contaminate it further you must have some advanced tools installed on your forensics uh, workstation uh, with the help of which if anything or any application would try to copy anything from the contaminated disk to the host computer it would notify you so that you can take the preemptive measures and you can see that actually which is the code which is being executed when we are trying to run um, an application Okay, next is analyzing the digital evidence. Your job is to recover the data from deleted files, uh, file fragments, complete um, uh, files or deleted files that linger on the hard disk until the new data is saved on the physical same physical location. Most of the times that's not the case um, in our experience even if uh, a disk uh, had uh, some data on it and which was wiped off and then again written on it we were able to recover the data um, from the affected hard drives. Um, second thing is that those softwares uh, which are available out there uh, quite advanced um, with the help of which we can recover the data and even the uh, deleted partitions from the um, hard disks. Tools can use to retrieve the deleted files are autopsy. Um, they, they, there are lots of softwares available out there these days. It's um, uh, just about choosing the right tool for the kind uh, of hard disk that you have. That's why we covered that when we are recovering a, um, a data from a hard drive or if we are doing a forensics analysis on a hard disk or a system, we must have different operating systems installed since it's a complete lab where you must have systems with Windows XP onwards like we have from Windows XP to Windows uh, uh, 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, 10, 32-bit, 64-bit, different variants are available and even the tools which are available are the ones which, one, uh, which runs on specific operating system. Now there are certain tools especially uh, for Linux and uh, uh, Mac operating systems. Um, you must set up a lab accordingly that if a system is compromised you must be able to recover the data from there. 
that's the main reason that we don't post lot of material or use the servers or application servers for unnecessary things we use the servers only for production purposes rest of the drafting and saving the files and pdfs and all those things we don't um, want the servers to be utilized for those kind of tasks because once we are recovering the data we want it to be 100 percent clean and we don't want to spend a lot of time recovering recovering unnecessary files which were not required um, at a point now steps to analyze the usb drive is a start autopsy that's a software create a new case um, and different operations uh, that they are teaching um, in the software which is being used over here uh, we'll be using these different softwares in our lab which would be conducted uh, uh, tomorrow uh, so that you can see that how these softwares are actually collecting the evidence from the hard drive and how can we monitor them now coming towards completing the case keep written journal of everything of uh, the notes uh, which you can present in front of the court make sure that uh, you have the six w's which are quite famous when you are trying to um, present a case like who what when where why and how you must have answers of all those questions and you must explain um, uh, computer and network processes that uh, what's the uh, typical scenario or the architecture of your organization and how someone um, tried to enter the organization by using some um, gray means or the negative practices. Now critique the case. Ask yourself the following question. How could you improve the performance of the case? before you present it did you expect the results you found or you were looking for something else or was the documentation um, was detailed enough that helped you or and what's the feedback which is uh, received from requesting the uh, the source uh, did you discover any problems in the system other than that were identified did you use the new techniques uh, when you were investigating all those things so when you know all these questions you are good to present the case in front of the court so that explains everything which was required as far as the initial understanding of um, computer forensics and investigation was concerned uh, we'll be continuing on next uh, chapter from next session thank you very much guys